guys, Sarah here at the Heartfully Homes Fun, and today I'm going to be bringing you along a little bit on our homeschool day. Um, excuse me, I have allergies really bad. <clears throat> it is allergy season for me, and as some of you may know, I do suffer from allergies pretty bad. So, excuse my voice right now, but I'm going to have some clips from our homeschool day. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna try to have some maybe some music playing and as I help each one of them they each one have different needs and my youngest was actually doing some school which you will see in a second he was doing some um, Abeka kindergarten math and he wanted to show y'all the picture he was doing he was doing his tens like 10 all the way um, to 100 counting by tens and he wanted to show y'all his bear he was working on and he was doing this math right here he is doing very well in math um reading he's struggling with a little bit but i think he's going to get the hang of it soon <laughs> my daughter on the other hand is doing she struggles in math so she is actually doing she's actually in first grade this year but she's doing the matthew c primer which i love matthew c and next year my plan is to have them both in alpha so i will be teaching them kind of together a little bit more. Um, right now we're having to do more one-on-one. -on -one. Um, she's doing pretty well in reading. She's really getting it. She seems to be getting the hang of it. And I'm really proud of her. She's may not be um, doing what a lot of people would think a first grader should be doing, but she's definitely making progress. And that's one thing I love about homeschool. I could go at their pace and um, I had a few fears that she, or concerns, I didn't really fear, I shouldn't use the word fear, but I had some concerns that she possibly could be dyslexic because she was having problems with like the B and the D, like and writing some of her letters backwards, which I mean, that could still be a thing. But um, as of right now, she's doing better with that. So I'm very glad about that and I kind of talked to my mom a little bit she is in the public school system she homeschooled us all the way through K through 12th grade I was homeschooled all the way through me and my brothers and sisters were all homeschooled except our youngest brother did end up going to public school because my mom had to go to school and work but um, she is actually in the public school system and she told me that's pretty normal for kids to get those and B's and D's backwards. That's one thing I'm really loving with the good and the beautiful level K this year that my daughter is in. And she has been doing the recognition. She writes her name up here. She's so sweet, Heidi. And then she does the B's and D's. I don't really know if this is going to come off correctly, but she did do it correctly. Like they do like D's and then B's and then D's and then B's some more. And then they do the story that she really did well on. I was really proud of her. She read that really well to me today. And something else I love, I was just going to kind of, um, this is definitely not sponsored or anything. This is just some things that I like about the good and the beautiful as far as what has suited. It seems like everything I chose this year has really been suiting her needs and uh, all of my kids needs this year so I was really glad for that and then they do specific B and D recognition so apparently that's not an uncommon thing I feel like um for people or for kids to get those mixed up and so then they have lots of words as you can see that are doing the B's and the D words so she's doing that and then they also have this like this little game thing where you have the B's and D's, I meant to grab the little B and D squares. And like this would be ball. So you would put the B's, you know, they have to pick out of this pile of B's and D's that I cut out. And they have to put the B on here. And then the brick, the B would go up there. And then bird, of course. And then bell. And then, oh yeah, when you get to doctor, you would put a D. So, and then duck. And then, of course, y'all know. <laughs> I don't need to sit here. I don't need to sit here and tell you what each picture is. But... You know, I mean, y'all get the idea. And so, I don't want this video to be incredibly long because I did. Um, I'm not going to edit out much of the video. Um, me helping the kids. I do help. Um, and I feel like it may show that I'm helping my youngest one a little more. But actually, I help them all equally a lot. I actually, when I went to help my daughter um, do her 
B's and D's and her, which she pretty much did this on her own independently. But then as far as the story, I needed to sit by her the entire time and that would have been me running the camera for a very long time. And so y'all are just gonna see little clips and so you probably see more at the beginning, me helping him with his math page and then me um, starting to help her and then I kind of turn the camera off and then I kind of turn the camera off a lot when I'm helping my oldest because that requires a lot of, um, I don't know, those of you who film or do YouTube or uh, maybe want some home videos or maybe film yourself or, you know, doing school or whatnot, um, maybe you'll understand that sometimes having the camera on for my kids is a little distracting. Like my youngest can like tune it out and my middle girl's pretty good about not, but a lot of times when she's reading, she'll be like read a word and then she'll like look up at the camera like <laughs> and stuff like that and of course my oldest he really needed to focus on math and not worry about a camera being going and all that kind of stuff so i guess i don't really have to explain that but anyway I'm, without further ado i'm gonna let y'all see some clips from a homeschool day and as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are not already subscribed i would love for you to hit that subscribe button button and become part of my YouTube family. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.